nog. En hopelijk wilt u straks eens met mijn selfmade dobbelsteen gooien. Dit is Nox TV. Uh, hi, my name is Tini and you're watching Nox TV. So you're warming up? Yeah, but not too warm. No. Yeah. I'm glad uh, finally a female DJ again in Nox. Uh, it's been a long time. Um, is it hard for a female DJ? Uh? Well, I can say that because times have changed and I guess it, there was a difficult time, I guess, but not for me. It's all about the music and not about if you're a female DJ or not because if you close your eyes and listen to the music and the music is good, you don't care if it's a guy or a girl. And I never had problems. I never felt like being dissed or whatever. No. What's up? This is Loco Dice and you're watching Knox TV. Naast mij staat Loco Dice. Hi, welcome in Belgium. Hello. Uh, I brought something, a self-made dice. There are names on it, yeah, names on it. And then I would like you to uh, Say give some more cool. information, yeah. All right, let's do it. Uh, 1992, that's when I started with everything. That's a great year. Yeah. But yeah, but that's the year when I started. I huh? started with uh, DJing. <laughs> Uh, the second one? All right. Not too far? New York. Well, New York is the, um, the city of hip hop, the city of um, many things, fashion. Mm -hmm. It's a great city. Uh, it was an honor for me to, to live there and to, to survive there. Yeah. <laughs> I lived in Brooklyn, not really in Manhattan, but still New York, one of the five boroughs. And yeah, um, it was a great time. I produced my album. But we're going to come to this because it's also on the dance. Seven Dunham Place. <laughs> Seven Dunham Place is the street, um, the, the name of the street where I lived in Williamsburg in Brooklyn. And um, uh, it has to be the title of my album because um, this is where everything happened. This is where I did my first album, yeah. electronic album. And um, I, I, I keep a lot of memories with Seven Dunham Place. It don't look the same now though, huh? <laughs> they changed yeah. it completely. Well, Brooklyn is now yuppie town. And, all the rich guys and, yeah. and the Wall Street bankers and all that, they moved yeah. all there. So, still got some flavor, but not really yeah. the same. And the last one. Germany, the neighbor. <laughs> you are German. I'm German. I'm born and raised in Germany. My origins is from Tunisia. I'm a Tunisian North African boy. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy in this country. That's why I moved back from New York to Germany. Yeah. <laughs> but Germany is where everything started. This is my hometown and that's why I came back and, and, and I'm really happy. I have my label that I run with Martin Desolat. I have my, my, my management agency, Artists Alive. My friends, my, my football team is there. And um, as well now, as you see, the music market, everything is German based. Huh? It was always techno, it was always beside techno house music in a different way, not really American style and they believe in what they're doing and that's why I think it's now so successful and it will stay successful because it's real music because it's been since the 90s they're doing it and when you see all the big superstars or veterans like Jeff Mills or, or DJ Rush or whatever the names are they all moved to Germany or lived in Germany so I think it's a good sign but I'm not from Berlin ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you for the interview Thank you very much, thanks That's my that's my brother Timo Mas. Timo Mas was um, one of the first big DJs, big superstar DJs who opened doors for me. He, he was the one who believed in me. He was a big fan of the way I was playing and how how, how I was choosing the way of music and creating my set. And um, he loved it so much. He was like, okay, well, you know what? Come with me on tour. And he brought me to South America, to the United States. Actually, he's the one who opened the market in the United States for me. 